Hello, and welcome to read us a story. What shall we read today? How about The Knight Who Said No? by Lucy Rowland and Kate Hindley. Once inside a castle lived a little knight called Ned, who always picked his toys up and who always made his bed. Ned, in all the village, was the one and only child. He was polite and kind and helpful. He nodded and he smiled. When asked to do the washing up, yes, is what he said. When asked to fetch the firewood, he would rush off to the shed. When asked to pick the cabbages, Ned wouldn't whine or stress. He always answered straight away, and always answered, Yes! And when each night the dragon came, swooping through the sky, the knights would holler, Get inside! And, Yes! Ned would reply. This happened each and every night. The dragon circled down and frightened all the grown-ups as she swept around the town. They'd rush inside their cottages. Phew! That was close, they'd say. But Ned would watch the dragon as she slowly flew away. He thought he heard the dragon sigh and give a little groan. Ned wondered, is she just like me? Perhaps she's all alone. But then Ned's parents said good night and told him bedtime, Ned. And what would Ned say? Yes! Of course. And off he'd go to bed. Until the morning Ned awoke and something strange occurred. When Mum said, Son, please fetch the milk, Ned found a different word. He felt quite odd, all hot inside and cross from top to toe. He shook his head from side to side and then Ned answered, No! His mum was shocked. She stood and stared as Dad came in to say, Ah, will you help me, Ned, my lad? The tournament's today. Now, can you find my shield? He asked, my arrow and my bow. But Ned still felt all prickly, and so he answered, No! Well, that was just the start of it. The nose came thick and fast. No! Ned told the butcher when he wanted to get past. No! Ned told the baker when she wanted Ned to pay. No! Ned told the fisherman, We don't want fish today. His parents couldn't understand what has got into Ned. They called him in. It's time for tea! But no! Ned shook his head. Suddenly, Ned heard a whoosh and saw a flash of light. The dragon, with her shiny teeth, came soaring through the night. The knights all shouted, Get inside! Quick, hurry, Ned! They said. But Ned clenched up his fists so tight and, No! yelled Ned. The dragon circled in the sky, then landed on the ground. Hand on hips, Ned waited, but... The dragon made no sound. So Ned walked slowly up to her and poked her on the toe. You're supposed to roar, Ned said. The dragon whispered. No, I'm so fed up of roaring and I'm rather lonely too. I wonder, sniffed the dragon. If there's room to stay with you. Ned looked quite uncertain and he nearly answered no. But when he saw the dragon's tears, his cross began to go. He didn't feel so prickly. 
His angry was no more. He felt a little brighter, sort of lighter than before. Then Ned looked at the dragon, trying so hard to impress, and thought, There's just one thing to say, he told the dragon. Yes. The dragon loved her brand new home. She loved to play with Ned. She even loved her jobs, like fetching firewood from the shed. And if Ned felt bad-tempered, which he did once in a while, he'd go and find the dragon, who could always make him smile. Then sometimes Ned would hear a shout of BEDTIME from below. And mostly Ned would answer, Yes! But sometimes Ned said no. And that was The Knight Who Said No. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel and read us a story. Thanks. Bye.